If you're a fan of horror games like Resident Evil, Amnesia, or whatever the heck the coding looks like for Redfall's AI, then you might like a game called Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. Daymare 1994 Sandcastle is a third-person horror shooter game very similar to Resident Evil series with zombie-like enemies, limited safe zones for saving, and very awkward cutscenes. Whatever it is, it's a big deal. Foss talks about it like it's the holy fucking grail. Jesus Christ, Roddick. Haven't you seen what's out there? Yeah, I have. I can't explain it. They seem to be animated by some kind of electromagnetic anomaly. Have you been playing scientists with those goddamn monsters? I found a laboratory. I regret to inform you though that Daymare 1994 Sandcastle is not actually in a sandcastle. I know, it's very, very disappointing. And for this fact alone, I have to give Daymare 1994 Sandcastle a 1 out of 5. Okay, okay, I'm not actually that petty. Yeah, I'm I'm referencing a review from 2014. I I couldn't think of a better joke for this part. Uh, um, moving on. Daymare 1994 impressed me in a lot of ways. The environment is well crafted enough to keep me in suspense, and the graphics and details in the game can be well immersed enough and can be on my toes for any potential enemies that might pop out and grab me. Thankfully, the game had a lot of good audio cues to alert me when I was about to be attacked, and the gunplay was serviceable enough that I was able to dispatch enemies, and honestly, hitting them with a shotgun was very, very satisfying. Daymare 1994 also has a pretty interesting gimmick with the use of liquid nitrogen to solve puzzles, dispatch enemies, and prevent these weird floating orbs from creating even more enemies. While I mostly liked the liquid nitrogen gimmick, shooting the floating orbs was a bit awkward at times, which led to some mildly frustrating encounters that led to enemies being resurrected again and again and again, nearly killing me, and honestly, it doesn't ever feel too good when you die in the game because of clunky controls as opposed to making a mistake or being outplayed. The story is both pretty straightforward but also kind of confusing. You're just kind of plopped into the story with a thousand moving parts happening in the background, and you're just there thinking, what the hell is going on? Which honestly probably moves the thoughts of the main character pretty well. Much of the storytelling is in awkward cutscenes, but there's also a lot of mini lore blurbs scattered throughout the game that you find out through audio logs and by scanning objects of interest. Overall, I really enjoyed playing the press demo of Daymare 1994, and if you're interested in the game, I recommend checking out their Steam page, which I'll be linking in the description below. And if you want to see some early gameplay, I'll probably turn my stream of it into a video and link it in the description as well whenever it gets posted. Also, I'll probably post a link to the Twitch VOD as well, which, by the way, you can follow me as Twitch as well in this, you know, not-so-subtle plug about my Twitch. I play a variety of games, but mostly centered around shooters, horror games, co-ops, and the occasional strategy game. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Take care, and I hope you all have a nice day. Or or don't. I I, I don't know. It's 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 up to you, I guess.